Hi, it's me, Heinrich, and today we're going to cruise through geometric sequences and you've got a ticket. So hop on board. What are geometric sequences? Geometric sequences are created by multiplying each term by the same number in order to obtain the next term in the sequence. So let's make our own geometric sequence. So let's, uh, let's start with 2 and multiply by 3 in order to get to the next term, so we get 6. Multiplied by 3, you get 18. Multiplied by 3, you get 54. Multiplied by 3, you get 162. So there we have it, we've created our very own geometric sequence. How do you spot a geometric sequence? Well, luckily you're not going to need binoculars because geometric sequences are identified by the constant ratio between their terms. So, let's look at the example we just created. If we take term 2 divided by term 1, that is the ratio between term 2 and term 1, we get 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 3. Term 3 divided by term 2 is equal to 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. And term 4 divided by term 3, 54 divided by 18, again equals to 3. So, the ratio between one term and the next is always going to be equal. So if you want to prove that something is a geometric sequence, all you've got to do is show that term 2 divided by term 1 is equal to term 3 divided by term 2. Now, is there a formula for a geometric sequence? Let's have a look. So we know that we multiplied by 3 to get one term to the next. So let's see if we write out the math. To get term 2, we went 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Term 3, we go 2 times 3 times 3. So 2 times 3 squared is equal to 18. And for term 4, we go 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 2 times 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 54. And term 5 is 2 times 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 162. Now, is there a pattern hiding here? So, we see we start with the number 2. So we've got 2 there, 2 there, 2 there, 2 there. So we're always multiplying 2 by something. Then, we see for the third term, we take our ratio, 3, and raise it to the power of 2. For the fourth term, we raise 3 to the power of 3. For our fifth term, we raise 3 to the power of 4. So the power to which we raise the ratio is always one less than the position of the term. So the formula that we derive from this is Tn is equal to a r to the power of n minus 1, where a is the first term of our sequence. r is going to be the constant ratio between each of the terms, n is the position of the term, and n minus 1 is the power to which we are going to raise r. So, the formula for this sequence would be 2 times 3 to the power of n minus 1, because again, we started with 2, so that's equal to a, and then our constant ratio was 3. If we wanted to find term 5, for example, all we would have to do is substitute 5 in where we see n. So we get 2 times 3 to the power of 5 minus 1, where 5, again, is the position of the term that we're looking for, and we get 2 times 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 162. And that's exactly what term 5 is equal to, which means that our formula that we've derived is correct. Great. Now, in summary, a geometric sequence is identified by the constant ratio between terms. To find the formula, which is in the form Tn equals A times R to the power of N minus 1, we find that A is equal to the first term of the sequence. N is the position of the term that we're looking for, and R 
is that magical constant ratio. That's all from me. Good luck.